Okay, this is microbit.org, and I've gone on to Let's Code. I'm going to click on this that says Let's Code. It takes me to what I'm looking for, which is our JavaScript blocks editor. Now, when I click on Let's Code here, the page loads, and you'll see there's two options up here. There's blocks. I'm just switching into that now, which will probably come up for you straight away. And then JavaScript. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to leave here the on start block. Sometimes when it starts up for the first time, you might see the um, forever block. But for the moment, I'm just going to do on start. Okay. And just to show what the micro bit can do, I'm going to click on basic and I'm going to show a number. So I click on slow number and I can drag it into here and then say show a number. Now here we want to display the number two, so I can just type the number two in here. Okay, and then you will see over here in the simulator that the micro bit is showing a two, which is great. So now we've got a simulator over here and we've got our code that's going to run over here. Now we need to save our program, so I'm going to click on here, which is untitled, and I'm going to save this as start because it's my first ever startup file i'm just going to click on save okay and i can do save as and then i can pop this into my programming folder um, i might want to create a new folder here called microbit just so i know where my microbit stuff is uh, I'll drop that previous program in there and as you can see it says microbit first program well i'm going to call that microbit hyphen start dot hex there it is and save it okay so that's now in there so if i want to load it i can click on projects here and then i can import my file from the computer once i've done all that um, it's time to try and mark the exercise so what i do here is i click on javascript and this shows me my javascript code which is basic.show number two i can copy that now i can paste it in online and check that that works